Each cacao bean comes from different regions and territories. They have different characteristics and flavors, and it's not always easy to be able to highlight certain notes the cacao has. Hi, I'm Gaia, and I'm the head chocolate maker here at Cacao 70 Factory. We are known for high quality chocolate. Cacao 70 started as a chocolate drinking bar. Over the years, we expanded our menu to chocolate with brunch, crepes, waffles, and chocolate dipped ice creams. I used to be a pastry chef owner of a small bakery coffee shop and worked in a few kitchens in their pastry department. That being said, I have been working with the chocolate for quite some time before joining Cacao 70. It's also a dream for many pastry chefs to be able to make their own chocolate. I've never really thought about becoming a chocolatier, actually. I mean, yes, as a pastry chef, we have to be well versed in all fields, including chocolatier confections. I've always admired the chocolatiers on their artistic sculptures and delicate bonbons. Now that I'm on this path, though, I'm giving all I can to become a chocolatier who can spread emotions. I wasn't a big fan of chocolate bars because commercial chocolate was always too sweet and artificial for me. Ever since I've discovered Binto Bar chocolate though, I've been hooked on it, especially our 70% dark chocolate bar. Our chocolate is made using simple ingredients, well-sourced cacao beans, organic cane sugar, a bit of cocoa butter, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes we add a bit of soy listing in a small amount just for fluidity. The result is a fine flavored chocolate bar that reflects the terroir of its origin. Many people ask me how I became a chocolate maker. As a pastry chef, we have a basic knowledge from pastry school and from the kitchen. But chocolate making is very complex. I then followed many courses of chocolate making online and took chocolate classes. However, where you learn the most is where you work in our factory. I wish more people knew that chocolate is not as cheap as we think it is. We are so used to buying mass-produced candy bar at a dollar to dollars that it's crazy to think that chocolate bars from artisan bean to bar makers like myself cost around ten dollars. Cheap ones usually have a strong artificial vanilla taste and also has a lower percentage of cacao, meaning that it has much more sugar in it. Good quality chocolate, on the other hand, has a much shorter ingredient list. The taste is much complex with many layers of flavors. We try to be as transparent as we can. That's why we do sourcing trips at the plantations, build relationships with the producers, and produce chocolate in a facility where the public can see us working. For anyone who is interested in becoming a chocolate maker, I'd say that not everyone has the same journey into the world of chocolate. Many start up in the kitchens of their homes and then expand into businesses. You just have to find the right opportunity and hang on to it. I'd also say that you must love chocolate because when you work chocolate, it's very easy to get covered in it. If I could tell my 11-year-old self something, I'd say, enjoy more of life's little moments because it's moments like this that will inspire you in the long run. <laughs>